Over the past years, he also created a huge following on social media, where he had many thousands of friends and followers and was hugely respected in his field. He put his soul into helping others with great success, but ironically, in the end, he ignored his own health, which led to his eventual downfall. He died peacefully at home while making his dinner. His heart could take no more. What's up guys, Freddie here from wolfphysique.com. And today um, I have some bad news. Um, Scott Murray has uh, passed away. Think by yourself, who is that? Uh, well, I can show you his Instagram and YouTube channel. So this is his YouTube channel. He was mainly making all kinds of uh, full day of full days of eating, showing his routine, um, what he ate and all. Honestly, I'm just so baffled, bro. I uh, I don't know, man. I talked with him so many times for years, to be really honest with you. Um, he was a really nice guy. And um, I don't know what it is, but this, this his death really got to me. Um, of course, in this video, I'm just gonna give you some of my thoughts, uh, what I think, what could have caused his heart failure you know in like more in a scientific way and i will tell you my experiences of being too lean staying too shredded and what effect it could have on you when you're natural so if i go over through his uh, instagram you can see yeah some body pics the guy was absolutely shredded and this was like 246 weeks ago. So this is almost like four years. This is almost like four years ago and he was shredded around that time and being natural though. As you can see, the guy was absolutely shredded and this was four years ago, guys. This was like a really, really long time ago. The guy was like really, really shredded and this was already like almost four years ago who knows even longer before he started instagram at all he also made like a short of what the, what the consequences can be of staying like shredded for far too long Lee and magnus balkan have been doing great preaching the side effects of being shredded as a teen so i thought i would give my few points to seeing as i have been there so if you want part two because there are a lot in this then you know what to do you have to do hours of cardio. You rely on caffeine for energy. You're peeing all the time. Your workouts suck. You're cold all the time. More caffeine? You watch calorie challenges all day. More caffeine. You have to bring a cushion everywhere you go. Drink sugar-free soda by the liter. Or even worse, start drinking Walden Farms. More caffeine. You chew sugar-free gum like it's your job. You live in the shops looking at all the foods you can't have. More caffeine. You can't sleep. You spend three hours making high volume meals. More caffeine? You get turned on by oats. Actually, no you don't because you have zero testosterone, so go get a check link down below. You want to binge on chocolate. You need a hundred bags of spinach just to get full. No amount of pre-workout will give you a pump. You dread walking upstairs. You so Tristan- As you could see, he was also looking very, very unhealthy and I messaged him like for two years straight. In 2020, I started chatting with him and we were going back and forth together. Um, I do not want to share it all. Some of it is private, um, but I can tell you the guy was like, it was a really good guy. So when I saw this short, I uh, actually sent him a message. I said, bro, I saw your latest short. Shit got worse, bro. I've been there too. I know it is hard, but you're really going to have to fix your shit. Even after such a long time of staying so shredded, I fucked my thyroid alone. Um, yeah, that's when I discussed my blood work, my TSH was so out of range. I was cold all the freaking time. People think it's like the fat keeps you less insulated. Maybe it plays a part, but it's more so because <laughs> your thyroid is going down, plummeted. You don't do not almost make zero T3. And it's very important for regulating your body temperature. And he was suffering for this for years. I said, walking around with test levels of 200 nanograms is totally fucked or even lower. He also got his testosterone checked very long ago. And um, even around that time, it was like 
at hypogonadal levels, as you can expect from being natural. And we see from the research that when natural bodybuilders just eat normally, uh, after 30 months you recover it. Um, yeah, it's like very, very, very low. Yeah, he said to me, um, yeah man, I've been very bad lately at prioritizing myself, but definitely need to before a complete burnout. So I actually asked him a long, really long time ago, I asked him his stats um, about yeah, his weight, how tall is he, just, was just curious because we were talking a lot. And uh, he just, he really didn't want to share it with me. Um, that's okay. I said to him, I know you have more potential physique wise. If having chronically low T is also not the best thing. I, I actually told him that. I said, at least blast some testosterone and then you know, maybe like hormone therapy. It may have to come to that in my mid thirties, uh, laughing my fucking ass off. Uh, zero test in my body. So yeah, basically I said to him, just gain some weight. It does not have to be much because I, I, I really, I was really worried about him at the time. Um, I can relate so hard with him because I've been there. I told him I've been there, man. I mean, like we all want to be shredded naturally. Right. And I did it for my photo shoot. I got down to like single digits of body fat and the things that I had to do guys, it was, it was insane. I did like 20,000 steps. I, uh, slept like shit. Um, I was hungry all the time, just all the things he mentioned. And I looked so unhealthy and I realized that now at the time I did not know. I really thought by myself, I had like body image disorder. I looked at myself and I thought, this is okay. I can make, maybe I can maintain this. And I had my, after the 20 K steps, my legs were so inflamed. My, most of my days was cardio, um, walking too much. It was not necessary at the end of the day. If I would coach myself right now, I would say it's not necessary. You just need more time. But the thing is, it's so hard on your mental state, guys. Uh, especially when you look at all those models. Um, everyone is jacked. Everyone is sauce to the tits. Everyone is doing shit. Also, even those guys, they have difficulty maintaining their low body fat. And Scott was like, he also said it in his video, he's, he got less sleep just to hit the steps during the night. Even the, the people in the comments told him. He knew. He just knew it was a problem. Yeah, Scott also told me that he never took rest days. He never wanted to take them. He was doing workouts of like burning thousand calories on his Apple Watch. Um, and he was trying to eat so much, a lot of volume, voluminous foods. Um, he wanted to eat a lot of calories, but stay shredded. And the way he dealt with that is like working so hard too hard that it literally cost him his life. We know he, his heart stopped uh, when he was cooking his food, like you saw in the intro, we saw that. But what could have contributed to that? Of course, the hit sessions he was doing were insane. Like he was, the work ethic he had, it was insane. It was like, even I was surprised guys, because I can tell you one thing, when I was living like that, and looked that unhealthy. People were telling me all the time. Even my mom was telling me. Everyone was telling me. And guys, I felt so, I felt so bad. I talked to him so many times, you know, and I never thought that this would happen. I honestly, when I was eating yesterday and I heard it, I was like, I got this, uh, I almost wanted to puke, bro. I swear. It's like, because I, we could relate so hard with each other, wait, because we were natural, we were shredded. And I knew how it felt. I, I stepped out of that and I really never, I despise cutting. I didn't, do not even want to cut weight anymore. So I rather do not even bulk up to like a high body fat. So I have to cut again. I just don't want to, I hate it. We really have to prioritize our health and is being and staying shredded naturally, naturally really healthier than using gear and saying shredded because you have to understand his testosterone levels were so low. And even, even around that time, he looked more healthier and it was around, I'm not sure anymore. It was like around 150 nanograms to 250 nanograms per deciliter. And yeah, chronically, um, just can't live like that, man. Eventually your body cannot take anymore. 
I'm just want to I just want to share what I think that could have contributed to his heart attack next to all the things we already know. And maybe you can just get something out of this video informative to you. I really do not recommend if you are going to shred down and you're staying too late, it's, it's addicting. I've told this many times. It's so addicting, but it takes a toll on your body and your body just can't handle it anymore. It's mentally, it's so tough and it's work ethic, even though he had like almost no energy at all. It's insane. I, I respect it, to be honest. And I, for me, I think by myself, like if this work, if this work ethic would have been used for something else, like maybe gaining and I don't know, he would be much better off and he would crush it, you know? Just baffling to me because he was also so young. But what I want to say is that if your testosterone is so low, you have to realize your estrogen is also really low because we men, we aromatize our testosterone into estrogen and estrogen is really, really heart protective guys. Scientists are still learning about the actions of estrogen in the body. And there are multiple studies that have shown that estrogen affects almost like every organ system in our body, including our heart, our blood vessels and Estrogen's no effect on the cardiovascular system include a mix of positive and negative effects. It increases your good cholesterol, uh, HDL. It decreases your LDL cholesterol, the bad kind, what we do not want. But it also promotes blood clot formation and also causes some changes that have the opposite effect. It relaxes, smooths and dilates blood vessels. So blood flow increases. It soaks up like uh, free radicals uh, that na naturally occur in our blood and that can damage the arteries and other tissues. But estrogen protects the heart in ways we still do not understand all of it, but it protects your heart in a lot of ways. So a lot of women after 65, for example, who go into menopause are actually more at risk for like heart disease. When estrogen levels decline, levels of LDL cholesterol, the harmful kind, increase and levels of HDL cholesterol, the positive uh, cholesterol, decreases and it leads up to fat and cholesterol in the arteries that contribute to a heart attack or stroke. So I think by myself, would it not have been better for him to use hormone therapy as like a way of protecting himself better and recovering faster, would that not be a healthier way? People really underestimate how important hormones are for your body and your heart and your organs. Would it not be better to just use testosterone or something like that? And of course, this is my hypothesis, all right? I'm not saying that this is the reason, but this is my opinion. I think maybe it could have contributed to it. And also I realize now, this industry is totally shit. I mean, like, you have all these shred guys walking around in Instagram and social media. A lot of people get ruined because of this. If you want to stay 5% body fat as a natural, like, and you want to stay like that, guys, please think by yourself. If I just do not want to gain weight, get on hormone therapy. You would be better off. So, uh, yeah, this is my, uh, my hypothesis on it. For me, I just, I think a lot of people are going to miss him. Um, like I said, guys, he was a really good guy. Um, he was very nice to me, always. Uh, we talked a lot back and forth over the years. Uh, never met him in person though, but that also says enough about him that uh, he always talked to me. He has a much bigger role following than me. So, and I hope maybe this talks you out of staying too lean and doing too much. Your body can just handle so much, guys. We all think we are invincible, but we are not. So, uh, because uh, Scott Murray, he was Italian. Rego Scott in pace, brother. I, uh, we are all going to miss you. And uh, thank you uh, for watching, guys. And I hope it was helpful. i see you next time.